So Matthew, you're the founder of the Lamp on the Stand Motivational Ministry, which we talked a little bit about in the previous video. So what tips you have for a job seeker in order to stay uh, motivated or in order to stay uh, positive during this job search, which is a little bit chaos. It's been a long time. A lot of people need to pay that. They need a job now. They cannot do it. And they're anxious. So what tips you have from your ministry? Yeah, no, that's a great question. And I, I kind of want to go back, I guess, first to my experience when I lost uh, employment back in 2017. I was working for the company uh, that, I, that I worked for at that time for three and a half years, and it came very unexpectedly. There was never a negative review. We weren't in the middle of a pandemic. It took me totally by surprise. And my, my son at that point was about, he was less than a year old. He was about nine months old. And so I had all those kind of um, anxious feelings that just overtook me in that moment. It was like, oh my gosh, you know, how am I going to make this work? We've got bills to pay. I've got mouths to feed at home. Like this is, and I'll tell you, it took me that, you know, I didn't respond to it in the way that I would today. So I've learned some hard lessons uh, since that time. And what I would say is you've got to give yourself, and I know this is going to sound kind of crazy, but you've got to give yourself a little bit of space for clarity, because if you're immediately reactive to the situation or you're reactive to the emotion that you're feeling, um, if you're acting in anxiety, if you're, if you're feeling that lack uh, begin to overwhelm you and um, you're putting your place, yourself in a, in a place of desperation, you're not going to make good decisions in your job search. So you really actually do need to create a little bit of space, whether you can give yourself a day or a week or a month, you know, you can only determine that based upon your needs. Um, but if you can give yourself the space to step away and really seek clarity first, and I would say that, you know, again, Lamp on the Stand Motivational Ministry, I would say go to your faith life you know, get into prayer, get into scripture, get into devotionals and slow things down. And what you'll realize is that you're going to be okay. You know, you just got to take a deep breath. Don't allow the emotions to overwhelm you. Ground yourself in your faith and put your trust in him to provide. And eventually you'll find that, um, you know, you probably didn't need to go to those dark thoughts in your mind. Um, it's it's, it's going to be all right. You've been through it. You start to kind of look back on your life and you see, I've been through adversity before. I remember that impossible situation that I never thought I'd find my way out of. And, and ultimately I did. And so I'm just going to take a deep breath and I'm going to approach this from a clear and sound mind. I think that is so, so important. Um, I think having clarity is important. Where are you going? What's happening? You know, take time, you know, you don't have to directly jump to the next one. Maybe this is a good thing because a lot of people are saying that it was good for me to stay home, spend time with the family, or I learned new things, or I changed careers. So there are a lot of possibilities. We can always take something negative and turn it into positive because that will motivate us to be better. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I think that is the case. I mean, you know, we can look at 2020 as though it was sort of like hitting the reset button. It gave everybody an opportunity to evaluate where they were at in their life and what they wanted to do with the rest of it. You know, do they want to spend more time with family? Do they want to change career paths? Do they want to stay in what they're doing? Um, you know, even individuals that didn't lose their job, I'm sure they had that kind of wake up call type of moment where they said, is this really what I want to be doing? Because my priorities, you know, when you, when you experience a pandemic, things, the, the picture becomes a little bit clearer. What's really important? You know, where do I want to focus my time and energy? If I'm devoting my life to something that is not meaningful, then maybe I do need to stop and evaluate that. So I think we all need to do that and just, again, avoid that defensive posture because that that's a dangerous place to be in. And I think you need to remember that you are the asset, you know? So when you're job seeking, understand that somebody is going to benefit in a great way from having you on their team. So don't, don't look at it as though you need something to um, fulfill you. Somebody needs you to yeah. fulfill the needs of their organization. So stay in that you know, position of strength. Yeah, what you can bring to the table. And I feel that the pandemic put everyone in the world on the same position. It's not that just me or part of the world. Everyone was in the same thing. I think also that kind of gave to the job secret. It's not just me. Everyone is 
facing the same similar situation and we can learn from each other. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah. much growth has happened. Over yeah. The last oh, yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Matthew. And again, for the audience watching and listening, if you have any other tips uh, for the job seeker, please leave comments below and tune in next time for other great question with Matthew. Uh -huh.